G'day YouTube. Let's have a look today what's inside this um, PlayStation controller. So on the back side it's just got a few Phillips screws. So let's undo those. Uh, perhaps not the nicest, but that's come loose. But those screws um, just held in this back plastic shell, um, and there was a bunch more clicks or clips, um, the actual plastic clips that were just holding it together. So on the back, um, it just looks like an LED and then the charging port there, so just a little PCB um, and a ribbon cable that'll just connect that small PCB too, this is the main PCB over there. So yeah, just a bunch more components holding it together, so I'll take this off too, but it just looks like um, just a small, as I said, PCB that supports that charging cable or charging port for the cable. an LED so I reckon I reckon that there is the LED looks like an interesting um thin along with it's multicolor um, and also I think there's multiple ones in there and then that gets shot up through this clear plastic and then it's got those little sort of divots there um, where the light gets more resistance and it lights lights up and then it's got a diffuser again as well on, on this side. So quite a few components to it just for the actual light there. Right, I'll just put this back together a little bit. There we go. Alright so the actual main part of it there's a little plate holding the battery together. Um, so the battery just, just, um, just double sided tape onto this, this little plate here, and it's got a couple of, um, little pins sticking out that just slot, oops, that just slot into the parts of the PCB, in the main PCB over there to hold it in. Alright, then what we've actually got on the, either side here, so within your palm as you hold it in there, um, there's two motors and a little offset offset weight so as that spins spins unequally or unevenly um, and it vibrates so these are the actual vibrating motors and I will take this apart too and have a look at what's on the other side Alright, so I do want to be careful here so all this stuff doesn't just fall out. But what we've got, actually that comes out. So what we've got in here is a few pieces of plastic holding together a little PCB um, that's got a trackpad on it. So this here can act as a trackpad. And the ribbon cable just transmits the data from that PCB onto again the main board. See if I can get get this apart without breaking it. There we go, alright, so that PCB doesn't actually come out, um, it's, my best guess is it's glued to that piece of plastic. So that'll just be, again, sort of a matrix, um, 
of, of signals in there and then as you touch it with your finger it's probably got a capacitive um, detector on there that reads the signal this little little um, IC there would process it and then again just send out most like a digital signal so it's got ground power um, and then three comms protocols there so it, that would do a lot of processing on board and then just likely send a digital signal out from this um, onto the main board and this back plate here um, the plastic bit just sort of holds it all together and I guess provides that support there is also a button if this whole thing is pressed it is a button so there'll be a button on the PCB somewhere and then this is sort of the front side of um, of the controller it's got all the buttons in there and then just um, rubber membranes with these black things are just um, contacts and these contacts just press onto parts on the actual PCB um, to activate those buttons. Alright, so I can't actually disconnect the motors from the PCB. There isn't a nice connector for it. Let's see if I can, I can flip it around, otherwise I could just unsolder it, but this makes it more convenient. So there's that button, just a tactile press button um, that this sits on, so that little pin there just sits on it, presses it. There's more ports here, um, AUX and another port there for communications, and then the two thumb controllers, little joysticks, this should come off. There we go. So the way this works is it's got a, a metal case, um, two, two springs, um, and then two potentiometers. So as you push it one way, you can see this, this rotates a little bit. Um, and then that's just a potentiometer. So that would just get read in by the board. And likewise this way as well, so left and right there. And depending on how that goes, um, the combination of those two potentiometer readings um, will just obviously correspond to the position of that. And I think there is also a click. Yeah, so there's also a tactile button. Uh, so that's on this side. Um, again, just a small little button. So when this is pressed down, this side here just clicks and pushes onto that button. Um, this one obviously be the same. Then we've got a couple more buttons here for the R1 and R2, well, L1 and L2 as well. So they just seem to be spring spring loaded um, buttons that get pressed the same sort of way as this. So this is really just a plastic, um, thin, thin bit of plastic, really flexible as you can see. Um, and there's, there's copper tracks printed onto this and just little contacts on here. So exposed contacts, so these, these buttons um, the black surface on these buttons corresponds to and then as that gets pushed down that just bridges the gap in between those and actually conducts um, the, the power between the two and then that all gets passed obviously back to the to the board and the board reads it so all of these contacts here again these exposed contacts will just sit onto the exposed contacts on the PCB um, right here and then actually just as they're pressed just get sandwiched um, sandwiched together and, and um, power going through it and then as these buttons here are pressed it provides a short circuit um, and the board reads it. Alright so on, on this side um, got again just a lot of traces and a few quite a few exposed contacts um, which can be used for either programming the board so the board, board the PCB can be made all the components soldered onto it and then a little external circuit just makes contents with all this and actually programs the, the little controllers on board um, or just sort of for troubleshooting and, and testing um, what different bits are outputting. Um, and then yeah, again on this side just a couple of regular regulators there, um, small small um, chips um, and then this is probably a big chip, micro, the microcontroller that's doing most of the work um, close to the antenna as well. So this is Bluetooth um, protocol so there'll be some sort of um, there, there, there's a um, oscillator, the crystal oscillator, um, and then that just determines the frequency for the chip, and then it gets transmitted out through the antenna here. There's a couple of actual buttons on the side here as well, so I think that might be. Oh yeah, so these these two buttons, 
this one and this one just on the edge of the PCB. I think they just correspond to um, to these other two, to the share and options button um, on the controller. Awesome, well, that's pretty much it for what's inside um, this controller and other ones similar to it probably be very similar on the inside, um, just obviously done slightly differently. So thanks very much for watching. I'll attempt to get this back together now.